I cannot believe this. Yeah, ma. What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking. I then wasn't. you got me and rolling the outs. And I didn't raise you like this, ma. No, you didn't. Ego, <laughs> ma. Tripping. Well, Man. Rob, how are we gonna fix this? I don't know. Because Ro has every right to be upset with you. Yeah, she does. Every right. And here I'm picking up for you. I, I don't know what's going on. I'm thinking she's a bad person. I, I don't know what to do. Hey, sis. Hey, sis. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing, I'm sis? I'm good, darling. How are you? Oh, you're talking to your nephew? Girl. Oh, nephew. That's the person I want to see. Girl. Girl. Oh, what's, oh, what's going on with you and my son? Ah. Uh. Um, about that. He told you? Yes, he told me there was $500 thrown at him. Wait, what? Rob, you did what? Um, yeah, I, um, me and Cuz, we got into a heated dispute. I threw some money at him. Uh, Rob, I cannot believe this. I, I cannot. Yeah. What is going on with you? It's a lot happening. So a lot of situations and some going on is going on. I'm not proud of it. I'm not. Auntie, I gotta keep it real with you. It was, it's just, it's yeah. a lot. Yeah. It's a whole lot of things happening. It, it start with me and this lady named Rolanda. Ro, you, hold on, wait, wait. Before you get there, I'm gonna, sis, talk yes. to him. I'm gonna give this to you, sis. Let me talk to him. What's going on, baby? So, All right, auntie, I'm gonna shoot it to you straight. My friend, Rolanda, me and her was dealing with each other. Your mama's friend? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so this is how it starts. So I was dealing with her. We had a couple situations going on. We was dealing with each other. So then it escalated from there. And I went over there one day to profess how I felt about her. It didn't go right. Her husband, ex-husband, and her daughter, they jumped me. They jumped you? They jumped me. You're kidding me. I'm not. So from there, what? I told little cuz about it. We were standing outside one day, and the daughter was running up the street. He saw her. He was interested in her. I stopped him. But in the midst of me stopping him, we kind of, we made a bet. And he bet me $500 that I wouldn't be able to hit her. You bet $500 on this woman like she was a racehorse or something? Rob. Well, when you come put on. it well, when you put it like that. Come on. You you weren't raised like that. Come on. Yeah. So You know, I just that's really taking me aback because you know your father You know your father wasn't that kind of man. Yeah. You're right. Wow. So we bet on the situation after we bet. Things got kind of got escalated from there, and um, I caught feelings for it. Wait. You were talking to the mother? Yeah. And then you caught feelings for her daughter? Yeah. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Is that how you were raised? Ah. Uh, I, auntie, it's, it's real though. Like I really, I really feel something for the daughter. Like I really, I really like her, like a lot. Wow. And so you're you're, it, you're taking me somewhere that I just really can't believe that. So it is, got is your character. Yeah, I, you know, <laughs> it, you're right. But when it came to me and Cuz, it got heated. He then said that he wanted to deal with her. So I got upset. I threw the money at him because I was saying it ain't about the money. It's, I really like this girl. You threw $500 at your cousin who's about to go to the NFL who yeah. looks up to you like a big brother. Someone who's going to be coming to you to ask questions about how he should be handling himself as a man. And you're telling me that you made a bet like you guys were at the rage track on a woman and then turn around and throw $500 back at him. Wait, wait. That's the plot thickens. Yeah. You talk to her mom, and then you start talking to her, and you catching feelings. Yeah. You're going to have to fix this. Yeah. 
Yeah, because she, she uh, the daughter heard about it. I pocket doubt her. Wow. She heard it. And, uh, yeah, she. She, she heard happy. about it. So now she doesn't have any trust in you. Right. So you've broken her trust. Right. You've thrown money in your cousin's face like he was a piece of trash. And now you need to fix this. When you put it like that. Yeah, it sound it sound it sounds pretty bad. So how do you think I should fix it, Auntie? You're gonna have to get all the BS from around you. I, I mean just come clean. You're gonna have to go through her mother. Go through her mother? She don't even like me. You're gonna have to go through her mother. You're gonna have to fix this. And all the nonsense has to stop. The BS and everything has to stop. Okay. Your cousin needs to have a conversation with you. Yeah. And you with him. So that way you can make sure that you guys make amends because he looks up to you as a big cousin. You're right. I'm he's, a, he's a big boy. He is a big boy. I don't hmm. mess with him and his dad doesn't mess with him. I'm going to fix it. You got to fix it. I'm going to fix it. Thank you, Auntie. I love you. I love you too, baby.